guys and welcome to another Tech Guru video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to manage your Apple Watch applications or apps on your iPhone. So instead of using the small screen of the Apple Watch to do some major um, rehauling of your apps on your Apple Watch, you can do it directly from your iPhone or iPad. So as you see here, you have your Apple Watch application right here. Uh, it's the one, the black icon with the Apple Watch overlaying. Uh, and then in this app, you're going to see all kinds of stuff. Not only can you manage your apps, but you can do a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So let's talk about your app layout. So the first thing you're going to see is the app layout button there. So tap that there on the top of the screen. This is going to be the layout of your applications on your Apple Watch currently. Now, if I go here and select and hold an application and drag it around, I can actually move the applications on my iPhone and then it will reflect that on my Apple Watch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to move these around. I'm going to move the ESPN app. Okay, I just click and hold. It'll come available to me and then I'll just go on down. Now in order to create a new line, now they'll all be you know designated together, but as long as they're connected, you can put one below the other. So you can create all kinds of unique designs. Now within this section here, I'm going to show you how to download new applications. So what we can do here is we go down to featured. Okay, there where the star is, click on featured. And then all of this here under the Apple Watch application will be new Apple Watch apps. We have games, we have healthy living, we have all kinds of applications, and we can even search for applications by clicking on the search button there in the lower right hand corner. So that's how you download and install new apps. Now, once we do that and we have installed a new app, we click on the app, we go to get install, just like you would on the iPhone or iPad. And then once it installs and it shows that it installs here on the iPhone, you'll be able to go back to my Apple Watch and it will show up right here where all of these apps are. Now I'm going to go back one and go back to my watch. Now if we look here, we're going to see a few different things. Now under the bottom of this tab, you're going to see where all of your app settings are. So if we go to the top one there where it says activity, I'll be able to adjust my activity application settings from my iPhone. This makes it easier to do instead of using the small screen for just doing some bulk editing for your applications and it's just a lot simpler to do on a larger screen in general. There's all your applications and then if we go back uh, to my watch and then go to app layout as you can see there there is that little calculator application right there that I just downloaded. Now I'm going to set up these applications just like this like you see it here. I'm going to take a screenshot on my Apple watch right now and I'm going to magically throw it up on the screen as well and let you see how it mirrors what I'm doing here on the iPhone. So that's how you download new apps. So to finish the video up, let's talk about deleting an application from your Apple Watch. So you want to remove an app from your Apple Watch. Go back to the home screen here that you see when you're in the Apple Watch application. Scroll down to the very bottom where you see all of your applications and then select the application you want and then just click the checkbox there that says show app on Apple Watch. It will uninstall it. And then when we go back uh, to our watch settings here and we go to the app layout, you will no longer see that application. It will be completely removed and deleted from your Apple Watch. So that's how you download new apps, that's how you delete apps, and that's how you move them around. Hopefully this video on managing Apple Watch applications has been helpful. If it has, help me out. Click that like button, share this video with your friends and family, and as always guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you in the next one.